Hi friends, my name is Raina and welcome to a functional core circuit that is actually created for beginners. So often we go to YouTube to look for things that are made for beginners and we're met with a lot of exercises, workouts, or classes that are really too hard. They are too advanced and they're not meeting us where we are. So this circuit is going to be suitable for lots of levels because there's multiple versions and variations of the moves that we'll be doing. This whole circuit will take place on our backs, on the ground. All you need is a mat or a blanket, just something to add a little cushion to the ground under you. So when you're ready, come to your backs. Finding the middle of your mat, lie down, bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to the earth. Take a moment and observe your back, basically just below the neck, all the way down to and through our tailbone is feeling firmly planted on the mat. If you're not feeling that, you can try pressing your feet down, lifting your hips up, and then curling them under, kind of like you're trying to squeeze your butt in, and laying your hips back down. <sighs> so taking a moment here to feel that steadiness, to feel that fullness. Bring your hands onto your belly, or if that's not quite comfortable, you can hover your hands over your belly for a moment. <sighs> taking a few rounds of cleansing breath. and just allowing yourself to come into the space to be prepared for whatever you can or cannot do today because it really has no reflection on who you are as a person. It's just where we are today. I think with core, it's always better to do a little bit every day than just try to do one big core session one time a week. Good. So from here, you can bring your hands onto the ground and lift your left foot off the earth. Left knee is bent and then gently flex your left foot so you're pulling your toes towards your shin. Take a moment and really try to squeeze your thigh into your belly or towards your belly and just see how that feels, how that feels on your hip and your lower belly. Great, and now keeping the leg bent, start to move the thigh away from the belly and outward a little bit so that you don't have a perfect straight line from knee to hip, but you have a little bit of a diagonal moving away from your head. Good. Taking a moment, just feel that. Feel if your lower back is lifting off the ground. And if it's lifting a lot, pull that foot in a little bit. Find more of that 90 degree angle. Right arm extends towards the sky. And with a nice slow inhale, start to reach your right arm overhead as your left foot moves towards the earth. Exhale, bring things back up to center. Good, inhale, left leg moves down, right arm extends overhead. Exhale, center. Good, three more. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, bring it up for two. And one. Good, release your right arm down. Bring your left foot to the earth. Taking a moment here, just to let you know that if as you were moving, you felt that your, your back was lifting off the ground as your foot would get closer to the earth, we wanna make that movement a little bit smaller. We don't wanna move our foot so close to the ground that our back lifts. So moving on to the other side, right leg comes up, flex your right foot, and then take that moment, squeeze your right thigh towards your belly, and now move it away just a little bit, keeping your back really firmly pressed into the earth. And it may feel kind of like you're curling the spine to keep your back pressed into the ground. This time, left arm extends towards the sky. Take an inhale as you drop right foot and left arm. Exhale, back to center. Good, four more. So inhale, extend. Exhale, back to center for three. For two, that knee stays bent. Come back to center, last one. Back to center, good. Left hand comes down, right foot comes down. Take a moment here. You can press your hips up and down a few times. Coming into our next set. This set will contain 10 reps. 
And you can either stay with keeping one foot on the ground and moving one foot up and down, or you can come with me and take both feet off the ground. Either way, we're doing kind of the same moves, these dead bug type moves. So if you're starting with just one foot, bring that left foot up. If you're starting with both feet, bring both feet up. Take a moment, squeeze your thighs in, and then move them back out. <sighs> Beautiful. If the left foot is up, your right arm comes out. If both feet are up, both arms come out. So starting with our first set of five and our left foot, inhale, left foot and right arm move out. Exhale, center. <sighs> Good. Inhale, switch sides. So left arm and right foot, if you have both feet up. Exhale, center. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, center. Pause here. If you have one foot, you're switching to the other side, right foot and left arm. Let's continue with our right foot. So inhale, right foot, left arm. Exhale, center. Inhale, left foot, right arm. Exhale, center. Good. Inhale. Exhale. For three. Two. Last one. Good. Hands come down, feet come down. Take a moment, wiggle your feet out to the sides. Drop your legs in so they're resting on each other. Breathing here for three. Two. And one. Good, we'll do one more set of our dead bugs. Again, you're welcome to stick with one foot on the ground five rounds on one side and then switch five rounds on the other or take your 10 with both feet off the ground. So wherever you are, foot or feet coming up, arms coming up, let's begin. Inhale for 10, center, nine, center, eight, center, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, feet come down, hands come down, take a moment. One more breath here. Good, right foot stays on the ground, left foot extends out taking a very similar shape to, we, to what we just did, but this time with our leg extended. So flex your left foot, start to hover it off the ground. Right arm extends overhead. Coming a bit more across the body this time, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lift your left foot up, right hand and cross them over your body, trying to tap right hand to left shin. Good, inhale, extend out. Exhale, cross. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Last one, inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Good, extend it out. Left foot comes back to the ground, left knee is bent. Right arm rests down. Coming onto the other side, so right leg extends. Left arm reaches overhead. Take an inhale, lift your right heel off the ground. Exhale, lift up, cross over. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, lift up and cross. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Good. Left arm extends overhead and relaxes. Right foot comes back to the ground. Now a reminder that your foot or leg extended only needs to go a little bit towards the earth. You don't need to go all the way towards the ground to a hover, you can go halfway, you can go a third of the way. We're looking to find your edge here. So take a moment, remind yourself that we want our back to feel firmly pressed to the ground. And so only going as far with our leg as our back stays to the ground, if that makes sense. And we're gonna stick with just one side than the other. So we'll do two more rounds, 10 this time on each side starting with our left leg. So extend that left leg, extend your right arm, inhale, reach nice and long, exhale, cross and bring to the top. Open for nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good, open it up, left foot comes back to the ground, right arm releases down, right onto the other side. So extend your right leg, left arm extends, take an inhale, hover that right foot or pick it all the way up. Exhale, close across. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Release everything down. Bend your knees. Good. This time draw your knees towards your chest or towards your armpits. Give yourself a little squeeze by bringing your hands behind your thighs, rock side to side. Coming into a gentle twist, drop your legs towards the left, right arm extends out. Breathing here for three. Two, and one. Good, either drag your toes along the earth or bring your legs through the air and through center, and then drop to the right, left arm extends out. Breathing here for three, two, and one. Good, either come through the air or drag your toes. Feet come back to the earth, either way. Take a moment, lift your hips up and set them back down. You can hug your knees towards your chest or armpits, find yourself in a little ball, and start to make your way to a seat, or you can press yourself up using your hands. Taking a moment in your seat, So take a moment, feel the warmth, the strength you've created. Maybe sit up a little taller. Feel your breath move through your body. Give yourself a big thank you for making time to work on the center of yourself, to strengthen the middle, and to bring that love, that warmth, and compassion from yourself deep from the inside and expand it outward. Thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time we're on the mat together. Bye.